Hey, what's going on, guys? Nintendo 64 here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Uranium. So, I was just, you know, training up little Piggy here, and I found a failing. So, I thought, this is a perfect place to start recording. I've been grinding here for about two days, and I have not found anything. I even did a little bit on stream, and I did not find a single one of these. So, I'm really surprised that we found one. And I think this is going to be the fire type of our team. So, let's, let's, since I don't want to lose it, let's send out a great ball. That's not what I meant to do. Let's send out a great ball. And try to catch this thing. Hopefully, the great ball works. There we go. We got a Falang. So there we go. Falang, the kitten Pokemon, a normal type Pokemon. Although Falang is small and weak, it can manipulate other Pokemon just by giving them a pleading look and meowing cutely. Sounds wonderful. And there, there it goes. Like an angel's kiss. And good old Picky got to level 10. Okay. So... Yeah, in the last episode, we wandered around a bit, and we had to talk to the professor again, and we traveled back to our hometown. In this episode, we're going to continue going around this route, and hopefully head to the next gym. So, I'm just going to head back to the, our town really quick, and grab Falang out of the PC, and heal up Picky, because Picky seems to be in a little bit of a pickle, which is quite ironic. The name is very similar. But we shall go grab Falang, and I will also show you the new members of the team. I've been busy. I've been very, very busy. So we, before we go into the PC, as you can see just by looking at the party icon, we have good old S'more. I've managed to find a S'more on stream the other day, so yeah, I... I I caught it. Looks like it's going to be pretty okay. So now we only need one more Pokemon to fill out our team for right now. And, what a coincidence, that happened to be Filane. So let's... I, I wanted to move Pokemon, thank you though. So we're going we're gonna to move Filane out here. And get rid of... Get rid of Grozard. I really wanted to use Grozar, but I just don't think it's going to be worth it. So let's let's heal our little picky real quick. And then we'll be good to go. Alright, now that we're healed, let's head on out and continue adventuring. We might want to see if any of our new Pokemon can learn Rock Smash, because Grozar was the only one who could learn it on our previous team. But since the team has changed a bit since then, we'll see if anybody else can learn it. Unfortunately, no. So, for the time being, I'm going to teach it to Electux. I am not going to use it. I'm just going to teach it real quick. And then once I can delete the move, I will delete it. So don't worry. He's not going to stay with Rock Smash. Unless it becomes like a helpful move, I'm going to... Pretty much get rid of it uh, the first chance I can. So let's get out of this ugly place. I mean, it's quite it's quite a nice place. First time recording in the evening, I believe. So it's a it's a very nice lighting. Let's break this rock, Ella Tux. I'm sorry you had to be pushed aside for this. Now we're back on Route Three, and we're back encountering a Pokemon. Probably, yep. As I thought, an Alton. Altons are everywhere around this route. Everyone's kind of the same level. And that's the problem with Lotad. Lotad can't flipping escape from anything. Like, when I say anything, I mean Lotad can't can't escape. Just it's super slow. You gotta flipping use the little Elotux to just run away. You gonna attack? Yep, you are. That's just rude. Should we attack back? You know what? We'll show this out in what we're made of. 
Goodbye, Outen. You will not be missed. There goes that. Let's switch around the team a little bit. I want to put Falang in the in the in the first slot, and I want to put Outen up here. And Tonami can go in front of Picky. There we go. That seems like a good order. So let's see what this sign has to say. Probably just Route 3. Route 3, your way to rural town. Oh boy, oh howdy. Anything over here? Nothing much, really. There's a Pokeball here. A rare candy. Awesome. Now we have two rare candies. Anything in this house? Hello. I can't believe it! We live on a beach and all my children want to do is stay inside! Whether they're playing video games or reading books, they never want to go out and play. Well, what's wrong with reading books? My bro and I would rather stay in here! You can have plenty of adventures inside! I mean, you're not wrong. Mom just doesn't understand why I hate sand. It's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere! I agree. It's not that, I mean, I guess. It's not that great, but it's, it's not that bad either. Get used to it. It's a sandcastle. How wonderful. Hello, child. I'm pretty sure I accidentally battled this child. Yep. Just have nothing to say. What do you have to say for yourself, woman? My children are adorable, but they're a handful. I'm sure they are. Oh, there's a loner sitting up there by himself. We won't talk to him. We won't, in we won't interrupt his loneliness. Seashells, seashells. Down by- Oh, hello. Hey, let's play Pokemon! I'm I'm sorry, kid. I, I'm kind of already playing Pokemon. Sorry, I just, I can't right now. I'm a little busy. It's a Grozard. Let's see how useless they are still. Look at the little two butt flaps. Let's use Yawn. Oh, Bulldoze. It's gonna one shot me, isn't it? No, but it did a decent amount of damage. That should make it drowsy. And then we can Falang, get Falang and flee the heck out of there. Or not, because it has Arena Trap, because of course it does. Of course it has Arena Trap, you know? Ah, it always, they always have Arena Trap. My Grozard, every single one I ever encountered don't have them. Every trainer that has a Grozard, Arena Trap. I have no idea what type this thing is, because Scratch is neutral. Like, what typing is Grozard? Not a very good one, obviously. Please don't wake up. Oh, come on. You woke up with one HP left. How is that fair? No. No, you tell me. You tell me how that's fair. Now, I know what you're gonna be thinking. Wait, are you sending out a bug type against a ground type? Yes, I am. But here's the... Here's the, here's the the kicker here. I can just use leech one. That's not gonna do. That's not gonna do any damage because I'm a bug type. I always forget that ground is not very effective on bug. Because rock is super effective against bug, so I'm, I'm always, I always mix the two together. I don't know why. It's not an easy mistake to make, but eh, at least more got some XP. Okay, you deserve to win. Yeah, well, now I gotta go flipping heal my Pokemon again. Thanks a lot, kid. Yeah, your kids are a handful, lady. Flipping killed my Phalang. How do you feel about that? Better feel bad about it. I'm into woman shaming, apparently. I like shaming women for having children. It's a common occurrence. You ever just see a child and you're just like, shame on you. Look at the parents and be like, mm, shame on you. I mean, I don't know. Parenting's weird. Like, if you take a child and you have terrible parents, the child is more li more likely going to be a terrible person, or they'll learn from their parents and not be as bad. Like, they'll learn not to do the things that their parents do. Or maybe just copy them exactly. It's it's hard it's hard to tell, and that just that's just scary for the. For the children that will be from that child. Assuming that they have children. Brings another discussion like, what if your parents raise you on fear? 
But I know I know a lot of people do that. It's like raise your kids with the fear, like if they ever were to break something, they fear that they would get their basically their whole lives just would flash before their eyes. That's I don't, I don't know. It's not a way to raise children to me. That's a. I think you should raise children with the same respect that you have for everybody else. Just because you brought them into the world doesn't mean you get to be more bossy than them than normal. But also, don't pamper your child. Treat them like a normal human being, not a god among men, you know? Whenever I tell people what my favorite Pokemon are, they look at me weird. What's up with that? Well, what's your favorite Pokemon? Is it Bidoof? Is it Bidoof? If it's Bidoof, can I, can I, can I stop Bidoof? Okay, two phalangs. Yawn! I, I couldn't tell which one was going. Oh no! We've both yawned each other! Now it's just a matter of who will wake up first. Oh no! Well, I can't, I can't be, I can't be asleep and infatuated at the same time. So I'm gonna have to, cause, so the infatuation must go away. Now it's just a matter of who's gonna wake up first. I don't think either of us are gonna wake up very fast. Okay, this might be absolutely terrible to point out. But you see the thing, the whiskers on Falang's face? In the bottom left, it looks like lips. And it's driving me insane. This thing just tried putting me to sleep already. This thing's not very smart. Oh, come on. Beat up your love. No, beat up your love! If you love them so much, you can scratch them. I'm, what? Don't do that. Stop it! They're not- they- they said that your fur was ugly. They said that your fur made you look fat. You can't take that. Yeah. Weak. And they go, you're going to sleep again. Wow, this is, this battle is just so invigorating. You go, Flank, stop trying to put me to sleep, I'm already asleep. Idiot. Gonna try to put me to sleep again? No, now you're gonna attack. You're a bad trainer. Come on, wake up. No! Why do you keep using me on? I am already flipping asleep. There, stop being in love. Stop being in love. Stop being in love. I'm giving you one more chance, Flang. If you do not do this, Flang, I gave you a chance. One more. One more. Don't. Uh, you know, I just... How can you be in love with something that looks exactly like you? Unless you're that much of... I don't, uh, if, you love you, you lo if you love yourself that much, then that's just worrying. Just, that's just what that is, worrying. You love yourself that much. It's okay to love yourself, but not to the point where you get immobilized by just looking at yourself in the mirror. That thing is a direct reflection. No one can tell me otherwise. Of course I'm asleep. Because S'more, you know, can't do flipping. Eh! I don't want to send out my tough Pokemon. I want to keep out my, my weaker Pokemon. Go, Tonami! Tonami has proven himself to do well in any situation. Puffed. Weakling. I can just use Tackle. Eh! Really? You wait the whole fight to bring this stupid thing out? Oh my god, I really hate this woman. I really do. Ha, Burby, now you're poisoned. What are you gonna do now? You're gonna, you're gonna faint, that's what you're gonna do. Tone me. Tone me. Tone me. Oh me. Oh me. I'm going to send out 
the weakling that is Picky. Picky couldn't do this battle even if she wanted to. Eh. Oh no, quick attack. That's gonna do a decent chunk because it was a crit. But the. Okay. Bubble! Nope. Well. Bye, Picky. Oh, you survived? I guess the first one was a crit. Good job. I didn't expect you to survive, Picky. You know what? No. We'll stay out. And we'll use Bubble! Oh. Picky, no! Go, Tony me. Tony me, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you, Tony me. Tackle it. Kill it. Battle was a lot harder than I thought it was. You put up more of a fight than the gym leader did. You have more? Why? Why do you have more Pokemon? Stop! Stop it! Not cool. Not, not cool, lady. Just not. Thankfully, it takes like one hit to kill a. Oh, uh, really? You used the wrong animation. Come on, Pokemon Uranium developers, don't you know it's the like it's the little particle effects that bounce off the Pokemon with the weird seeds popping out? That's bug bite. You just used a fang animation. How could you? Simpleton. Ugh. You shouldn't let other people tell you what you you should like. Enjoy things that make you happy. That's how I like to live. Yeah, well, you know what would make me happy? Your demise. You can't tell me otherwise, because that's how I want to live. I'm going to go all the way back. You know what? This time we'll go to our our, our wonderful aunt, because she might be she might be a lot nicer of course, of course we would run into a wild Pokemon. And of course it's an ugly pig looking stupid face manky. I don't like you, go away. Taking my weird lip cat and going to my aunt's house. Mommy. She's my new mother. I mean, she basically is my mother. I don't know where I live. <laughs> Pretty sure I live over here. But I could be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. I don't know where I <laughs> live. Is that a bad thing? It's probably a bad thing. Oh, I live here, don't I? I do live here. Greetings, Aunt. Heal me. Heal me. Hello, honey. Taking a break from adventuring? You're supposed to heal me. Good. It's quiet without you around, you know. I've been getting into indie game development. My latest project is called Pokemon and Gate. <laughs> yeah, sure, Grandma. Grandma, Aunt, Aunt Grandma. I'm just gonna call you Aunt Grandma from now on. Aunt Grandma. What? Wait a minute. Aunt Grandma. Is that even possible? I mean, in Alabama, is any anything is is possible, but like. Is that physically possible for your aunt to be your grandma? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want to think about it. Now that, now that I've thought about it for a few more seconds, I don't want to think about it anymore. Just going to leave that there for you guys to think about. You, you, All of you can tell me if an aunt can be your grandma or if your grandma can be your aunt. Wait. No. No. Uh... Anyway, it seems we've gone over to here, and there's an item. And there's a water stone. Well, that's convenient. We're going to need that for later. Wait, can I use a water? I heard that you could use a water stone on a fire and a leaf stone on the starters to get them to evolve early. I'm not going to do it, but I just want to see if that's true. No, I didn't think so. That would be dumb. That would be dumb. Oh yeah, another uh, thing I wanted to bring out in this video is stupid sword and shield leaks. Like, as of this recording, it's November 5th? Yeah. 
November 5th, 6.30 p.m. And I'm, f I'm flipping had enough of the Sword and Shield leaks. I haven't seen a single one of the leaks so far. Only the two middle Star Evolutions for uh, Grookey and Sobble. But the rest of them I haven't seen. Because I refuse. I like going into Pokemon games not knowing anything but what uh, Game Freak officially reveals in trailers and Korokoro. If it's not in Korokoro, or it's not in a trailer, or a little promotional thing, I don't want to know about it. Because that's obviously something we're not supposed to know about till the game comes out. The fact that everyone's leaking everything on the internet, how YouTubers are just milking it. And my, when I say milking, I mean they're grabbing the cow, turning it just over and over and just like pu putting a flamethrower on its udder and just squeezing all that that ra ad revenue from those videos. They're just, they're just getting all those views. I found one video the other day and I, I clicked on it and thank goodness there was an ad. I didn't quite look at the title, but I just knew it was a Sword and Shield one. And there were seven ads in a 12-minute video. I'm not going to call out what name. I know the YouTuber's name. Oh my god, that thing's adorable. Too bad we have to kill it. But I know the YouTuber's name. I'm not going to call them out because I'm not that kind of person. But it's a certain YouTuber who's known for covering rumors. And it's just ridiculous. I've had enough. I can't go two seconds on YouTube without having to scroll fastly back up and delete everything Pokemon related I've watched. So that way I don't get Pokemon Sword and Shield leaks recommended to me. Like, they blur out the the thumbnails. That's, that's nice that they blur out the thumbnails so it doesn't spoil. But when you put spoilers in the title, what's the point of blurring out the thumbnail if you're just going to spoil everything in the title anyway? I, I got... I got one thing specifically, and it just... It made me mad. So I'm not... I'm not really happy with Sword and Shield, uh... People right now. Like, people in the, uh... YouTube side of things. So, yeah. I should be working on a cruise ship. You should be. You should be working on a cruise ship. I don't know what kind of cruise ship you should be working on, but you should be working on a cruise ship. Oh my gosh, that thing is so cute. I don't know what it is, but it's so cute. It's a spoon. Spunny. A spoon. Either way, it's cute. Uh, I'm gonna use... Go to me. But, um... There's a certain YouTuber who I used to watch for shiny hunting and, uh... Covering rumors. And... I can, I can name drop because I have... I don't think A-Drive is a bad YouTuber. He may milk things. He may pad out his videos. He, not milk things, but he, he pads out his videos to 10 minutes. He can really tell that he's repeating himself over and over to get to 10 minutes. But I can understand that more because he has a family to support. It may be a little... You know, it may not be what you want to watch. But it makes sense to me that he does need the extra money to help with his family. So it's completely fine to me. But recently he covered... All of the leaks that we know of so far for Sword and Shield. So I had to avoid his channel. And then I checked in this morning and he deleted all of those videos. All of them. Every single one of the leaked videos he completely deleted or unlisted them or privated them. And that just gave me a little respect for him because I think he knew people didn't want the game to be spoiled for them. But people were also clicking on the videos thinking there was something else, or thinking that they wouldn't be as bad, and then, or thinking that they were leaks, or rumors, I'm not leaks, but thinking that they were rumors, because he mostly covered rumors. So people might have clicked on them thinking they were rumors, and then having the game spoiled for themselves. So, he did the only right thing. He took them down. And I think that was a perfect thing he could have done. Instead of being like, well, you should have not, you should have read the full title. Like, he didn't say any of that. He just straight up was like, mm, let's just private or unless these. And so people don't see them. So they don't get the game spoiled. I think that's cool of him to do. 
Unfortunately, other YouTubers aren't like that and prefer to ruin in the game for people. Not that you can... I mean, you can't really spoil a Pokemon game story-wise. To me, spoiling a Pokemon game is giving away all the look like the brand new Pokemon. Why would I want... Why show me 200 new Pokemon? Or 30 new Pokemon? I obviously want the game to encounter the new Pokemon. I don't want that spoiled for me. I want to go in with, like, closed eyes, you know? I want to go in semi-blind, not knowing really what's going on. Unfortunately, Sword and Shield proven not to be pretty hard. Can I not fight this guy? Yes, I can. Ah, uh, oh. I'll come back to these trainers later. Let's grab this ball. It's a Stardust. It's a Stardust, and let's go up here. And we are in Barol Town. All right, so we're in Borel Town. So I think that's a perfect place to end off this episode. It's a little bit of a short episode, and I kind of just wanted this episode to be me battling in the background while I got some things about Pokemon off my chest. So I will see you guys in Sunday's episode. Goodbye.